depending upon when you're viewing this video, you may have to go get the uh, Chromium version of Edge. If you do, there's a link in the upper right hand corner here and there will be one at the end of the video as well so you can find out how to install it. So in this video, I'm going to cover how do you create an actual Windows app from any website using the Chromium version of Edge. So we click on Edge and launch it and we come over here and we go to the top three dots there in the right hand corner. We go to apps and we say manage apps. And here it explains what a website app is and how they act and how you're going to use this functionality to create an app on your system. So how do you get started? Well, you go up here to the uh, tab, let's say, and we're going to go up here and create a new window uh, by clicking on the plus there. And I'm going to go to my website, uh, Old Guy Geek. So I type in Old Guy Geek, I get my results, come here, and we're at my website. So how do I create an app? It's, well, right over here in the Edge browser, we go back to here, and you see here it says uh, how to install it. So we click on that. I'm going to change the name to just Old Guy Geek. And then simply say install and it launches the website now in a it's actually a browser but it's in the app window that you can resize and treat like any other Windows app uh, my site resizes because it's a responsive site not all websites will be this forgiving but now you have it in a application window it's not a full-fledged app but it acts like one it's even created a desktop shortcut here with a the site icon along with the name. And if we go over here to the start menu, you see it's put it on the start menu as well. So let's talk about managing it. I'll put that back for a second. And we'll go ahead and launch the browser again. And we're going to go over here to apps and it says manage apps. Several things you can do here. First of all, it'll have a list of all of them there. But if you right click on one of them, you see this first one says open in a window. That's how it is opening now. But now if I take that off, it opens up like a regular web application or a website. So if I click it back on again, and I click on the uh, icon again, it goes back to doing it inside of a, a window. So it has this web wrapper around it. So if we right click on it again, you notice you have some other things here. Let's look at this first, create shortcuts. If you've deleted the ones you have, you can recreate them simply by checkbox, clicking the checkboxes and putting them there. App info. You can set up permissions for all the different things whether or not this app can access this stuff. Some turn on by default, like regular website. Uh, some say yes, some say no. So you can go through these and configure this the way you want for each individual uh, quote-unquote app. Now before I forget, there's one more thing you might want to do. They don't do it automatically because they don't want to fill up your taskbar. You can right-click on it and say send the taskbar. So those ones you really want accessible, you can just pin it like a normal application to your taskbar. So let's do another one. Here's another one of the charities I work with. We're going to go to the same place, say install, just like we did before. And uh, I'm going to change the name here as well. Just make silk. And there it is. It's an application window. Again, it resizes because of how the website's coded, not because of how the app performs. But if you're doing this for your bank or whatever, it should change to either a hamburger menu like up here or some other mobile menu uh, to make it easy to use while it's in this mode. And again, if we go here, you see it's added to the desktop here. And we can go here on the start menu and go up here to the recently. And there it is. Right click on it. It's a pin to start. Come back down to the start menu here. There it is. Move it over here in my website group over here. And of course, you could uh, put it on your taskbar and things like that. But let's go back here again. Take a look. And manage apps. Sure enough. Uh, there it is. And I can do the same things we talked about when I showed you my website. So there you have it, how to create a quote-unquote app out of any website. Allow you to pin it to your desktop, pin it to the start menu, uh, make it a little more usable than having to go chase it down in your browser. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.